In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook inside Cognito Forms. So, Cognito Form is an amazing form building application which allow users to create customized forms with different kind of fields to manage their surveys, registrations, quizzes, and many more, and also to generate leads. Okay, so we are going to learn step by step how can we set up a connection between Cognito Forms and Public Connect so that we can automatically send the response of Cognito Forms to any other applications whichever we want in order to create an automation. Okay, so that we are going to do with the help of webhook so webhook acts as a bridge for setting up the connection between different applications and it helps to automatically transfer the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event okay so we are going to learn step by step how to set up webhook inside cognito forms now before moving forward you can see that on my screen here are two windows trigger and action so trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this these two are the building blocks we can say of public connect okay action follow what the trigger commands so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command so we can add as many actions as we want in our workflow but the trigger is going to be same each time for example here i want to set up the connection between cognito forms and public connect so let's suppose i want that whenever i'm going to receive a new form response through cognito forms then i want to transfer that response automatically towards any other application let's say google sheet so i'm going to add cognitive forms in my trigger and google sheets in my action and here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the form will be submitted then only the data will be added in google sheets otherwise not and similarly let's suppose after creating the record in google sheets i also want to send email to my team members that we have received a new response from cognitive forms so i'm going to add gmail as well in my action step okay so in the same manner according to your requirements for creating the automation you can add multiple action steps but the trigger is going to be same each time now after understanding this concept let's set up the trigger with cognitive forms okay so if you have to go towards trigger step and our application over here will be cognitive forms so let's select that now we have to select the trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start so here we have two options new entry or update entry i want that whenever a new entry will be submitted in cognito forms that means whenever a new form will be submitted then i want to receive the response of that new form here in public connect so new entry will be my trigger event over here accordingly you have to select okay if you want that when the entry will be updated then you want to receive the response then you have to select update entry option now as we have done that we can see that a webhook url is provided to us along with some instructions basically we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up this connection and the url which is provided is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from cognito form towards public connect so first of all let us copy the webhook url because with this url only we are going to set up the connection and now i'm going to take you towards my cognito forms so it is given that first of all you need to log into your account so i've already done that and here we can see that these are the forms i have in my cognito forms account so you have to select the form which you want to connect so i'm going to select this subscriber form so this is my form which contains following details first name last name email and the phone number along with the file to be uploaded okay and if you want you can change the fields from this form according to your requirements or you can add or delete the field now we have to set up the connection between this form and public connect so that whenever this form will be submitted we will receive the response now for that we have to come towards build option in this form and all the details you can see over here among these details we will also see the option of post json data to a website okay as you can see that you have to turn that on and when you will select that you will find some details over here submit entry endpoint update entry endpoint delete entry endpoint so here because my objective is that whenever a new entry will be submitted then i want to receive the response so i am going to enter the url in this field submit entry endpoint so we will remove the existing url from this field and the url which we have recently copied from public connect is to be pasted over here after doing that here we have to simply click on save so the changes are saved okay as we have done that now we are going to publish this form and we can see that a shareable link is given to us okay so this is the shareable link of the form subscriber form now we'll go back towards public connect here we can see it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission and how we are going to do that by submitting the form which we have connected so this is my form i have already connected that so i'm going to click on this open form link and the form is open in front of us so now i'm going to do a test submission by submitting this form and because i'm doing a test submission therefore i'm going to enter the dummy details and as soon as i will do that because we have already set up the connection between our form and public connect so the response will be instantly received so now let's start with the name let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is dummy 
and the last name is let's say user dummy user here i'm going to enter a random email dummy user 400 at the rate babitudes.com and now at last i'm going to enter a random phone number now after this i also have one more option upload a file so this is not mandatory so i'm just going to ignore this field for now okay now i'm going to submit the form and the subscriber form is submitted so let's go back towards babli connect here we will wait for a few seconds and we can see that here we have received the response in the response we have received all the details this is the first name this is the last name here we have also received the full name that means first and last name combined okay this is the phone number and here is the id and all other details the date and the time at which the form is submitted is also given over here this means that the connection is absolutely successful so now whenever we are going to receive a new entry a new form submission in cognito forms we are going to receive the response of that form with all the details in pably connect okay so after setting up this connection automatically you can send the response of cognito forms to any other application by adding that specific application in your action steps so these were the steps which we have to follow in order to set up webhook inside cognito forms all right i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pably connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pably.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations